Hey everybody, welcome to the class. How are you tonight? I hope you had a very nice Black Friday. So did you buy something? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So I hope uh, you had a very nice Friday. I remember that Monday is our last class for this module, of course. So we need to move on with the platform. Remember, and I'm going to show you. Remember that we need to move on with the, with the platform, right? So today we are in the class number 24. We need to finish for this weekend. We need to finish homework 4.7, 4.9, and also the final test. So remember that the final test has four parts. So we have this that is going to be the first part. Once you submit that one, we need to go to the part number two. So you are going to see here the five questions. So you can submit those and then move to the part number three. Uh, in the part number three, remember that you are going to uh, write the word. This is just word, okay? And then submit that one. And uh, the last part that is going to be uh, this one, five questions only, and then you submit that. So it's very important that we finish everything this weekend, okay? This is the weekend for us to finish that one. I will be checking, and if somebody's missing, I will send the message thing through the, through the chat. So you move on with that one. If you have questions, also you can chat uh, on the group or directly with me, and of course, I will be checking on that as well. Good. Good. So uh, also remember that we're going to do this Monday, the INSA Forb survey that is going to be uh, together, right? I don't know exactly what time it's going to be, but we know that we're going to do that uh, on Monday. Cool. So now we're going to check the attendance. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Present teacher. Good. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present teacher. Good. Hey, you were in the class because you were, uh, I, everybody was thinking that you were celebrating with Miss Universe or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> celebrating that thans, uh, Thanksgiving, teacher. Yeah, Thanksgiving. That is true. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. <laughs> nice. Okay, Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Jose Alfredo Hueso Lopez. Present, Juan Roberto. Present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Mónica Wendy Ávalos Girón. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Oscar René Molina Calidonia. Present. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Janira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I see that there are a few that are still not in the class. I believe that the traffic this day has been difficult. I mean, I was coming from San Salvador and it was very full in Santa Ana. People are crazy going to the uh, the malls to buy things. I know Black Friday is crazy now here in Sabah. Uh, so I hope everybody can join in the class later. Okay. Yes, I look. I look uh, in the freeway and Monsignor Romero mm -hmm. is full in the San Salvador uh, Occident. It's crazy, you know. I yeah. always crazy on traffic. The traffic was today crazy.
crazy. On Fridays, I always come a little bit earlier. And sometimes I'm here in Santana at six, but today I was at seven here in Santana. So it was too much, one more hour. And the malls, I mean, Metro Centro was crowded, a lot of people there. Yes, in Antonio's, in, in, in the, the Los Chorros, uh, a los próceres, mm -hmm. very nice. Only I one really? car. Yes, <laughs> solo yo iba. Y my, no, that was amazing. <laughs> yes, yo, y, o sea, viendo para, viendo para atrás y si no, porque salí de por ahí por el centro Increíble. comercial Santa Rosa. Yeah. Y viendo yo que me iba a ir metiendo a los carriles así para agarrar el rápido, el, el carpool. Okay. <laughs> y yo, 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 ni un carro y al otro Where lado, is everybody? Yes, I, ah, entonces dije yo, algo pasa aquí. Yo me acordé que era el, el Black Friday. Yeah, Black Friday. So people get crazy. What I don't know, I don't know if actually there are really good prices today. I mean, no, no. maybe I not, right? Yeah, I, I think that uh, the price. The price uh, are not good. Uh, are not very, very Black Friday. Yeah, it's very, very paha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, no. it's publicity, right? Marketing. Yes, I, marketing. I buy. I bought um, in, in pants for the use in the smoking. Okay. Y lo estuve viendo todo el mes, todos los domingos. Veía yo, bueno, ya va a bajar porque es Black Friday. Decía yo. Y nunca bajó. Siempre estaba al mismo precio. Lo fui a comprar el, ayer o antier. Creo que lo, me tocó comprarlo al mismo precio porque nunca okay. bajó. Y my. Ah, entonces. So, yo, uh -huh. I believe that maybe in some products. I, I was listening to some friends that some TVs, they were kind of not that expensive. Uh, but not everything is in Black Friday, right? So. Um, yeah, I, I don't go there. So I, it's too too many people there running and fighting for things. And uh, anyways, you can buy other things, right? So that's the economy it. not permitted, teacher. Yeah, <laughs> talk yeah. about imitation of the United States now. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's not good, right? So we need to be careful because sometimes those little things. Yes, my cousin buy it and. En una ocasión compró un, un par de zapatos que valían 99 centavos de dólar en no. una tienda. Eso yo andaba con él ahí y, y sí, eso costó y él no creía y los compró solo por, para ver si era cierto. Y, y eran unos zapatos de talla 42, creo que eran. <risa> Pero valían 99 centavos. And what happened with the shoes? I mean, he bought it and that's it. <risa> sí, que sí, que se lo... Ajá, se lo... era uno Nike. Nike. Lying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that happens. That happens. So sometimes it's just publicity. Maybe there are good deals, but you need to research and you need to be lucky. So, anyways, uh, the good thing is that we are going to finish the classes. So let's hope uh, the rest of the people buy very fast and come to the class. Okay. Uh, we are going to continue with the class actually, and let me show you. This is. Uh, the a uh, plants we're going to speak a plan how to organize inventory and things like that. So, let me just show you the presentation. And, uh, uh yes, this is like a, a basic plan, but we can learn from that one. So, remember that in all the plans, in all the processes, there is an input, a process, and an output, right? So if one of these is missing, it's not a process, right? All right, so let's read and check some words here. So I, I know that you know this word, but we're gonna check. Let's see. Um, Ernesto, could you please help me reading uh, this slide? Okay, teacher. Um, the This slide uh, have uh, three points, input, process, and output. Input, raw materials, Consumables, consumables, maintains items, maintenance, maintains items, packings materials, local purchased items, uh, the process, 
working process, semi-finished production, production waste and scraps, rejections and defectives, output, finished good, defectives, reject, sales returns, repair stock and part, and the last one, sales promotion and sample stocks. Very good, perfect, thank you. So as you can see, this is like the three parts of the process whenever you are creating a product, you are producing, manufacturing something. As you may remember, we were speaking yesterday and all this week about um, inventory and all the processes, the warehouse. So uh, these are the most basic, right? Of course, in the input, we have the raw materials, right? So are like the supplies that the providers give us so we can build. Consumables, uh, do you know what is consumables? Consumibles. Something like that. But what is what what is that? I mean, is okay, uh, do you have a difference between raw materials and consumables? Um raw materials is uh materia prima. Exactly. And the consumables are things that are going to be uh, in, in the product itself, but not part of the product. It could be a sticker, it could be a wrap-up thing, it could be uh, labels, for example, that is part of the product because you need to put a label on that one, but it's not the product itself. So the raw materials are the ones that help you creating the products. And the consumables are things that are in the product, but not the product itself. And of course, we have maintenance items. So things that you use, so you can have maintenance to the machines, uh, to the inventories, many other things. Packing materials also is part of the input that is not consumable and it's not raw materials, but you need a box or you need a bag or you need any kind of packaging that you are going to send this to. And the local purchase items that are other items that could be helping the production of the, the goods. On the process, we have working process, of course. Sometimes there are things, depending on the, pro uh, on the product, of course, sometimes you need to stop at five or at six, and then there are some products that are in process, right? So you stop and you continue tomorrow. So those are goods or working process. The semi-finished production, sometimes depending on the product, you finish one part, but there are some other parts that you still that are still not finished. Then we have production wastes and scraps. So those are things that uh, were part of the raw materials, but now uh, it's like wasting there, right? So it's not part of the product. You cannot use that. Do you remember what is waste? Waste, waste. Um, desperdicio. Very good. That is it. So, waste and scraps is like the pieces of garbage that goes out from the production, right? And rejections and defectives. Here in the process, uh, almost all the companies, they have auditors, QA, quality. So, they can check if something is going well. Uh, and sometimes there are some products that are rejected, not good, or defective. So defectives, the difference between rejections and defectives is that rejection is garbage, right? You need to either repair or dispose them. And the defectives, is possible to repair or it's possible to sell them even when they have defections. And of course, we have the output that are the finished goods, the defectives that, as I was telling you, it's possible to sell them, but maybe uh, not at a regular price. But you can sell those with discounts. The rejects, because there is, again, other auditory, and sometimes the quality department, they decide this is not going to go out to the market. Sales returns, that that happens sometimes. Sometimes we send a product and people when they are wearing or when they are using the product, it's not working properly. So they return that one. 
repair stock and parts so are like uh, when we receive something that is defective and it's possible to repair it we're going to send it there sales promotion and sample stocks so almost always also all the companies they give samples they give some promotions for example right now i was reading that in canada the iphone uh, 14 pro it was zero dollars in my doubt if you get a plan you get a free iphone and the 15 was 20 dollars only so those promotions those are black fridays right here <laughs> not good but something like that is it's, it's good right 20 dollars for an iphone 15 i believe it's a good deal so this is like the process let's say or all the the three stages on the production uh, do you have any questions on this not teacher for me it's clear that three process three process uh, is the very very important for the inventory plant that is it so yeah these are the three processes about the transformation right of uh, anything that you might have to a finished good nice all right and this is a nice graphic that represents the steps the 10 steps in retail inventory management so number one says create a centralized record of all products what do you think is that if i tell you the number one is create centralized a centralized record of all products. What is that? What do you understand of that? So when you say create a centralized record of all products, is that you, as a retailer, remember that uh, in a retailer store, you have a lot of products, right? Many kinds of products, many different categories, but you need to have a centralized record of all the products, a way. For example, something that is very common is the barcodes, right? When they are incoming, you put a, bar a barcode and you get the inventory, and now you know that that is inside of the retail store. So whenever you sell that one, you scan again, get out that product. The next one, number two, it says identify stock location. So that is also very important because in the retail store, there are different um, ales, different spots where you can have the products. So you need to know exactly where are ones or the other ones. Number three, do regular and accurate stock counts. This is something that we checked yesterday. Do you remember what is a stock or inventory count? Inventory and stock. stock. Yeah, it's when you count, right? When uh, I, I was explaining that some companies once or twice a year or maybe thrice a year, uh, they count all the inventory. Sometimes it's possible to do uh, inventory counts in a weekly basis or in a monthly basis, but it's not possible for all the companies. Some companies, they have a lot of inventory. It's not possible to do that. But at least once or twice a year, they stop operations and they do stock counts. They count physically how many of one product or categories they have. Number four, combine sales and inventory data. That is very uh, This is very important. For example, when you buy today, let's say in the Black Friday, you go to a, a website and you see a pair of shoes. Nice, right? And you say, I love the shoes I'm going to buy. When you click on that one, and that one goes to the cart and you pay for that one, uh, the sales system has to be linked to the inventory one. So when you click on that one, it disappears from the inventory 
it goes to the dispatch part. So one person in the warehouse have to go and take the package and move it so it's delivered on time. So definitely, it's very important to combine sales and inventory data so they have to match. Number five says create a purchasing process. Definitely. So you are going to buy raw materials or many other consumables. You need to have a process on how to buy those, how to receive, or uh, how you are going to put away them. Number six, establish a method for markdowns. So markdowns are like something when, when something is not good. Okay, a process, a product, a markdown is, this is not good, we need to improve. So that is also very important. And you need to have a method for that. Number seven, build a stock receiving process. So the receiving of the materials, the receiving of the returns, all those things are very, very important as well. Okay. And number eight, create a system for returns, definitely. So these uh, seven and eight are kind of similar. The only difference is that eight is specifically for returns. And number seven is in general, any process to receive raw materials or any other thing. Number nine, determine a dead stock procedure. So when something is not possible to be moved or if you are going to keep uh, inventory for a while, for one month or anything like that, you need to determine what will be the procedure for those. It's going to put away, you need to move them to the back, things like that. And the other one, the last one, pick your inventory KPIs. Do you remember what is KPI? KPI. Okay, the meaning of that is key performance indicator. And it refers to the metrics, the, uh, the numbers that are very important to you, how efficient you are, how productive you are. And of course, you need to measure, you need to evaluate all the process. That is going to uh, provide you a feedback on how to improve and how to uh, how things are being managed. So these 10 steps is not only for retail inventory, but in general, it's a very good process for, for any warehouse or, or the way that you are going to manage inventory. Uh, do you have any questions here, any word? Teacher, ¿qué dijo que es con, significaba markdowns? Yeah, markdown is when you, for example, imagine that you have a checklist mm -hmm. to, to check that everything is fine. If something is not good, that is a markdown. Something that needs to be corrected, something that is incorrect. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. It's exactly, exactly the inventory, the method. Yeah. Yeah, so you're going to be the markdown. For example, imagine that you are checking how many, I don't know, how many shoes are in this box and it says there are 10 and when you count it, there are only five. Oh, this is a markdown. It's not It's not correct. Like a reduction. That? It's not reduction. It's a markdown. Es como, como le puedo explicar? Usted está no haciendo, marca. no. Es en un proceso, usted está evaluando el proceso y algo no cumple. Eso es un markdown. Esto no está bien. Markdown. Es como una marca para referirse a algo que is not correct at all. Okay. Um, okay. Clear. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Very good. So let's check to the next one. Uh, this is like types of inventory. So definitely we have different types of inventory inside of the warehouse. We have raw materials that we know what is that, right? Components. The components are things that are going to be included in the process or in the product itself, but it's not the product itself. 
work in progress, we know that is that one. So things that are still in progress. Not row, but not to finish good. Maintenance. Remember the pronunciation of this word is maintenance. Maintenance, repair, and operations. And sometimes it's called MRO. That is that exactly right. Maintenance, repair, and operation goods. So sometimes there are some products that are finished but not working well. So they are sent to maintenance, repair, and operations. The other one says packing and packaging materials, boxes, wrapping table, main kind of stuff. And the last, the other one says safety stock and anticipation stock. So these are like safety stock is things to be careful about some. For example, in a warehouse, uh, you need to wear a helmet, you need to wear glasses, security glasses, for example. But depending on the noise, you sometimes have to uh, have some earphones, so you don't have to have a problem with the ears. The other one says the coupling inventory. So this is when you have everything together and then you need to separate in categories. So you have the coupling inventory is exactly that process. You have shoes with shirts, with pants, but you need to separate the shoes, the pants, and the shirts. So that, that is the coupling inventory. Cycle inventory, that is like parts of the inventory that are moving from one stage to the other one. Uh, service inventory is like any other kind of inventory that helps the production. Transit inventory, this is very interesting. When you put, for example, today in Black Friday, you place an order for a shirt. So the shirt at the beginning is in finished goods. Then it moves to, uh, let's say, uh, the decoupling uh, inventory because they are going to separate that one. And then it's going to be uh, in transit. In transit meaning that is on the way for being delivered. So that is in transit. It's not part of the inventory in the warehouse, but it's not out of the inventory yet. So it's still in transit. Theoretical inventory, this is when we plan that we are going to have an amount of products, but we still don't have those products. So it's part of the planification, part of the plan. And the other one is excess inventory. That is when you have too much, too many products, and you keep those in the warehouse until you move on to that one. For example, for Black Friday, this is a very good example. Um, the companies, they have excess inventory before Black Friday. And for the Black Friday, they start moving everything. So everything goes very fast outside. So these are the types of inventory. Do you have any question about any word here? This coupling, where is this coupling? The coupling, the coupling is when you separate the inventory in categories. Okay. Good. Any other question? For me, not teacher. Very good Perfect. types of inventory. Nice. Clear as horchata. Let's move on. Like horchata. All right. This is an uh, inventory management process. So this is uh, a different process than the one that we checked before. And let's see. Rene, could you please help me reading this slide? Inventory management process. Goods are delivered. Goods are reviewed. Reviewed. There is a mistake on that one, but it's reviewed. Reviewed, sorted, and sorted. Inventory levels are monitored. Stock orders are planned. Placed. Place a stock order and approve it. Approved. Approved. Good are taken from stock. A 
inventory level for our update. And low, low stock level, trigger, purchasing, purchasing. Purchasing, good, thank you. So this is in general the cycle, the process of the inventory. For first of all, goods are delivered, meaning that you are selling some products and you need to deliver those into, I don't know, any kind of uh, in-transit program or transportation delivery. Uh, it could be a 3PL or any other thing. Uh, the number two, uh, hay un error ahí, es reviewed. Uh, le falta una E después de la I. So it's goods are reviewed. Por eso me costó pronunciarla. Ah, vea que nueva. sí. <laughs> <laughs> Good, so that's right. No, no, no. Sí, goods, no, are no. <laughs> goods are reviewed. Do you know where it's reviewed? I'm going to write that in the chat. Como revisar. Very good. Review, revisar. Nice. Sorted. What is sorted? Sorted is sin maril de dos cinque. Mm, it's not like that. Uh, it's like, I don't know how you have seen, uh, in many products it says sorted flavors. Surtido, lo surte. Ah, like a classify. Classify. Ah, no, no es sorteo, teacher, es surtido. No, es surtido, es surtir de, uh -huh. there are many and there are different things there. Ah, and store. Yeah, something like that. And store, you know what is store, of course, right? And number Sport. three. Uh, inventory levels are monitored. This is very important. If you are selling products, you need to monitor how many products do you have because remember that you are going to continue selling, right? So uh, it's very, very important. Number four, stock orders are placed. So we need to place order for the raw materials and also we need to check the orders that the customers are placing. Then stock orders are approved. That means that in the number four, you say to your manager, hey, we need more raw material. And in the number five, your manager says, okay, it's approved. You can buy. You can buy more raw material. And number six, goods are taken from stock. So you go to the warehouse and get the raw material so you can continue uh, producing. Number seven, inventory levels are updated. So yes, you need to, once you buy things, you will be able to monitor that one and uh, update those. And the last one, of course, is when you purchase uh, the raw materials or any other thing. Uh, do you know what is low? Low stock, what is low? Bajo. Bajo, very good. And trigger, what is trigger? Uh, desencadenar something like that desencadenar es como like, like detonante. to activate activate detonante something like that so okay. that means that when you have low stock levels you need to buy more raw materials that is the trigger uh, for you to purchase good do you have any questions on this slide For me, not each other. Good. Let's continue. This is a uh, inventory management. Uh, let's see. Ramiro, could you please help me reading this slide? Yes, teacher. Inventory management. Management. Inven inventory management is practice of tracking and controlling inventory order. It's usage and storage along with management of finished goods that are ready for sale. Continue? Uh, yes, please. Various management techniques. ABC analysis. Here inventory items are classifi classified into three categories, namely. A. Highly expensive, 
B, moderately expensive, and C, least expensive. Use in time. In this method, the company keeps only that much of inventory which is needed during production. They save insurance and storage cost. MRP, Material Requirement Planning. Planning is a technique in which order is placed after considering sales forecast. EOQ model. In this model, the store manager will reorder the inventory when it reach the minimal level. Min minimum safety stock. It is the level of inventory which an organization maintains to avoid the stock out situation. BAD analysis, vital, essential, and the desirable is used of, for controlling the spare parts of inventory. FSN method. Fast, slow, and no moving method is very useful for controlling obsolescence. Very good. So some of this you check uh, in a presentation that we did before, you remember. So uh, let's review on that one. So these are techniques, these are methods for management of inventory. It says uh, inventory management is practice of tracking and controlling inventory orders. Its usage and storage along with management of finished goods that are ready for sale. And there are various management techniques. ABC is something that we checked before, right? Uh, here, inventory items are classified into three categories, namely highly expensive. So the most expensive, depending on the cost and the pricing, is going to be A. Moderately expensive is going to be more or less, right? And the C is going to be the least expensive. It's going to be not that expensive, very cheap. Uh, the just-in-time is something very popular. It's a very popular inventory technique. In this method, the company keeps only that much of inventory which is needed during production. This saves insurance and storage costs. So yes, that's why this is very, very popular because if you have only the needed inventory, you don't need to have a lot of storage. You need to have uh, the cost is, is it reduces. So that's why this is very popular. The next one is MRP, the Material Requirement Planning. It's a technique in which order is placed after considering sales forecast. So in this one, first you plan how much you are going to sell. And depending on that strategy, then you produce and you manage the inventory. So it depends entirely on the forecast of uh, sales, definitely. The other one is the EOQ model, that is economic order quantity. That is the name of that one, economic order quantity. Uh, in this model, the storage manager will reorder the inventory when it reaches the minimal level. That's why it's very economic. Because you are not going to get more inventory until you say this is too low. Then we can get more inventory or more raw material. The other one is a minimal safety stock. In this level of inventory, which an organization maintains to avoid the stock out situation. So this is similar to the EOQ, but here you have the minimal uh, in stock. Right. The other one is the vital, essential, and desirable analysis. And this one is uh, is used for controlling the spare parts of inventory. So uh, you are going to to play together with all the inventory. So if they are, can combine, it's impossible to have it there. And the last one is the FSN method: fast, slow, and non-moving. A uh, method is very useful for controlling the obsolescence. So when you are checking this method, it's very interesting. Uh, and for example, the companies for cell phones, they use this method because they, they check 
that one cell phone is not being selling very often or not as much as before. So they decide to reduce the costs. So they get rid of this inventory and get and recover the money before uh, it get uh, it gets obsolete and they lose the money. Uh, I remember that there were some of these that you checked, but I don't know if you have any questions for the ones that you did. Not for me, teacher, but in, in this in this slide, the inventory management have six methods. Yeah, interesting. A lot, right? of, a lot of method, teacher, yes. Exactly. <clears throat> uh, also, there are some of those missing here. For example, the FIFO and the LIFE, right? The first in, first out is not here. Uh, or last in, first out. Those are other two methods that are very popular. Uh, but there are many methods that we can check. I, I use the method depend on the product. Exactly. So that is very interesting. I remember that we checked. I asked you that question. Which one is the best method? And your answer was accurate. It was very good. Depends. It depends on the product, depends on the industry, depends on many things. So, and also the cost. You remember the cost and the pricing is also very, very important. Also, the uh, conditions for the management of the inventory. Uh, ice cream, for example, they need a freezer uh, for them to keep that one. Very good teacher. Nice. Ah, uh, this is an exercise that we're going to do. Uh, do you have any questions before we continue? Okay. So, uh, actually, I was telling you right that we were going to do a dictation. So right now we have a dictation. So, please get paper and a pencil. Get ready, and I'm going to dictate a paragraph. Aha, let's see how it goes. Paper or in the computer, you can do it as well. Okay, everybody's ready with the pen. I am ready, teacher. All right, let's work on that one. So uh, as we do it usually, I'm going to say the word slowly. It's not possible to spell the word, but it's very interesting because you need to remember that uh, you need to be logical. Maybe one word is similar to two or three other words. But if you're speaking about apples, of course, it's going to be related to apples, right? And remember that the, the punctuation, I'm going to sell that one. And, uh, and that's it. So let's see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Teacher, I, I have a question uh, after, uh, before the, the dictation. Okay. Teacher, when, when you say period, is a point. Right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. But but the period teacher, I I don't know uh, how is is right, how they spell it. Ah okay, I can do it that in the chat. Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh that is it. Period. Period, okay. Okay, and yes, I mean that el punto, right? In English we have three names. Para el punto. The first one is period, that is for grammar. If we're speaking about numbers, it's point. And if we're speaking about uh, internet or anything related to internet, it's going yeah. to be that. Yeah. Teacher, but uh, if if you say in in this dictation, period is point in the in the other line. No, if I say only period, you continue. If, oh, I, okay. if I say period in a part, mm -hmm. then it's a second paragraph. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Very good. Let's make it so. Uh, Sylvia is coming. Hello, Sylvia. We're going to do a dictation. 
So if you have pen and paper, uh, let's work it out, okay? Here we go. All right, here we go. Warehouse management Warehouse management. Warehouse management software. Warehouse management software is either is either a stand alone is either a stand alone a stand alone program a stand alone program or part or part of an enterprise or part of an enterprise resource planning resource planning resource planning in parentheses ERP ERP in parentheses Sweet. 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 Okay. And uh, period. Period. Both solutions. Both solutions both solutions help improve help improve help improve output help improve output comma Save money. Save money. Save money and satisfy customers. And satisfy customers. And satisfy customers. Period. Companies. Companies turn to. Companies turn to. Turn to a warehouse management. A warehouse management a warehouse management solution a warehouse management solution a warehouse management solution when they can when they can when they can no longer when they can no longer 
no longer use spreadsheets. Use spreadsheets. Sheets with S. Yeah. Use spreadsheets to manage to manage replenishment. Replenishment. Replenishment and fulfillment activities and fulfillment activities and fulfillment activities period Okay, so I'm going to read all the paragraphs so you can check. Warehouse, I'm sorry? No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, warehouse management software is either a standalone program or part of an enterprise resource planning, ERP, suite. Both solutions help improve output, save money, and satisfy customers. Companies turn to a warehouse management solution when they can no longer use spreadsheets to manage replenishment and fulfillment activities. Ha, ha, ha. Now comes the time of the truth. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to show you the paragraph and you are going to check uh, if you have mistakes and which mistakes did you do, okay? So, this is it. Where management software is either. Uh, management software is. Five mistakes, teacher. Five mistakes is good. Nice. Very good. What about the other people? Uh, did you do a lot of mistakes? A few mistakes? Only three mistakes. Mm -hmm. Very good. That is amazing. Nice. Very good, Ramiro. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I used some vocabulary that we have checked, right? Uh, so that helps because you know the word is easier. Of course, sometimes we confuse the words with other, or sometimes we don't know one word. We don't know one word. Uh, of course, it's going to be probably one of the common mistakes is either or let's see, resource. Improve a term spreadsheets. I believe one of the most common is replenishment. Probably that is one. And fulfillment. Okay. Great. So uh, I hope you had a few mistakes only. And if you have one mistake, for the mistakes that you don't know, you need to review. You need to check the pronunciation. 
and the writing of the code. So you understand better that one. And the next time, uh, if you, anybody says that word, you understand. Okay, that would be the, the outcome of this. Good. Do you have any questions here? The activity? Si me tengo que autocalificar, por lo menos llegué al ocho, teacher. Very good. I'm very proud. That's nice. <laughs> sí, porque por lo menos la última parte sí todo bien, pero arriba en la parte en la que no entendí fue it is, is either. Ah, ah sí. la puse más, puse is item, puse. Ah, ok. Este, y luego eh, lo demás sí estaba bien, pero también la palabra sweet no la puse, ¿sí? sino que puse otra cosa, a ver qué era. All right. <laughs> y output tampoco lo puse, puse outbook. <laughs> ah, ok. <laughs> pero de ahí todo lo de abajo sí estaba bien. <laughs> Very good. Si se quieren calificar, lo único que hay que hacer es contar las palabras, incluyendo los, uh -huh. la puntuación y ver cuántas son. Y de ahí se dividen las buenas entre todo. Y ahí le va a dar su... So, if you want to ah, do it, that way. Mm -hmm. That is a good way for you to check exactly. But uh, the important part is, is to check that one. Sometimes there are words that we don't know or that we don't know how to... How is the pronunciation or we don't know the spelling of the word. So these are the three uh, reasons why you have mistakes in a dictation. Okay. Uh, Ready? Uh, what's the mean when, when I say planning suite? Okay, a suite is like a platform made of a lot of softwares. So that is a suite. For example, uh, Google Workspace is a suite. But Google Workspace has the calendar, the email, the chat, the video conference. So all the apps are part of a suite. Any other question? Very sweet, good. Sweet uh -huh. is like um Microsoft 365. Something like that. Yeah. That has uh, many apps integrated. So that is a suit. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay, let's move on then. Now we're going to continue with the book. Uh, is this one? Let's check. So it's a reading part. Amazing. So it says, I will be able to identify the main ideas and key details in a passage about an inventory management crisis. And in the number one, it says, would you willingly do business with a company that caused you a bad experience in the past? Maybe the first question here is what is willingly? Do you remember what is to be willing? Okay. Deoso, gusto. Deoso, 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 dispuesto. Maybe that is the one. Estar dispuesto. Gana, exactly. So are you willing, for example, in mind that your bosses, are you willing to work on December 25th? Está usted dispuesto a trabajar el 25 de diciembre? And you say, no, but I will be here, right, if you want. <laughs> El que, el que no está empleado siempre va a decir que sí. El que yeah. ya está empleado va a decir, lo voy a pensar. Yeah, let me think about that. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the question is very interesting. Would you willingly do business with a company that caused you a bad experience in the past? What do you think? It's very difficult uh, working with a uh... Uh, company have uh, problems uh, in the past for the uh, uh, prestigio, el, the prestige. The prestige, yeah. The prestige is uh, is uh, very important 
uh, maintenance or keeping keeping the 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 prestige in the industry for the doing business that is correct definitely is that way so uh, sometimes uh, the most of the people if you have a bad experience with the company you decide not to not to continue right not to move on with that okay maybe, maybe the pain the problems uh, because if it, the problem was hard maybe and there will be back, be back to to work in that company yeah, probably, yeah, that would be the, the the common result is going to be, now I don't want to continue this, right? All right, so we have the reading here. I'm going to read. You are going to check the pronunciation. Then you are going to read. And then we're going to check the vocabulary, okay? So let's see how it goes. Out of stock problems, Walmart had them too, with over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory. Walmart's supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problems to mismanaged inventory. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart's processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can't buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to a shortage of staff, it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and an empty shelves. And management worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to saving costs. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their out-of-stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Okay, pronunciation questions, my friends. Teacher. In, in the line, line one, two, three, four, five, six, six, line six, yes, is precision. Despite. 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 Meticulous. Meticulous, yeah. Ahí no se puede decir mericulous, porque este. Yeah, you can say mericulous. 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 Okay. And the line, uh, the line up, a true attribute, attributed, 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 it, attributed. mismanaged, 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 and up is never, nevertheless, 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 nevertheless. Okay. Accomplishment. Accomplishment. Yeah. Accomplishment. Accompli accomplishment. Uh, impressive. Accomplishment. Impressive. 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 Y en todas las líneas había una. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, rara. Um, teacher, uh, um, worse, worse, worse it. Worse it. Yeah. Worse it. Worse it. Worsening. Thank you. Fine. Quarter. See logistic. Any other pronunciation questions?
All right, let's read then. Let's see how it goes. Uh, let's start with Veronica. Okay. Out of a stack problems, Walmart had them too. With over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory, Walmart supply chains in an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart out of a stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart problems to mismanage inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision. Despite the meticulous details that goes into optimizing Walmart processes, many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. It is not on the shelf, I can't buy it, a customer say, in an interview, mm -hmm. according to insiders, there were many cases their stock was available in storage, but due to the shortage of stock, mm -hmm. it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shop at end management worsened. The problem by further cutting back stuff not save in cost. It is, in this case, Walmart fall because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that they're out of stock. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Very good, very nice, perfect. Thank you. Okay, now let's listen to Rene. Okay. Out, out of stock problem, Walmart had them to with over 11,000 stores in each in store, stores in seven, uh, 27 countries and uh, an average of 32 billion in inventory Walmart supply chain is uh, impress impressed by impressive. Logis impressed by logistical accomplishment never never does nevertheless Walmart out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent recent years. Analysts and analysts have attributed Walmart problems to mis mismanaged inventory. Mismanaged. Is managed inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision. This, despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart processes. Optimizing. Optimizing Walmart processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience, experience experience they expected from the retail store if if it not um, on the shelf i can buy it a uh, customer said in a interview according according to insiders there were many cases where Scott stock was available in storage, but due do it to storage to short time. Como es esa teacher? Short days. Short, short days. Short days of stuff in good delight. 
delayed. Delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Consumer gradually, gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty, empty, empty sales. 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 And management work warns it. Worse it. that. Worse it. Worse it the problem be by further further cutting back staff to save in cost. In this case, Walmart fi filed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that the their out of stock inventory level would how to the consumer experience even the giant giant like Walmart inventory management remains the core core of their business. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> Duele la boca. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, but was very good. Was very nice, really nice. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna listen to Ernesto Andrade. Okay, teacher. Uh, out of a stock problem, Walmart had them too, with over 11,000 stores in 27 countries in an average of 32 billion in inventory. Walmart, Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanage inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous details that goes into optimizing Walmart processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where stocks was available in the storage, but due to shortage of staff, it got delayed of moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves, and management worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to save in cost. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their out of stock inventory level would have on the customer experience. Even the giant like Walmart, giant. giant like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Very good, perfect, very nice. Let's check uh, Ramiro. Out of, out of stock problems, Walmart had them too. With over a uh, 1100 stores in 11,000 11, stores in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory Walmart's supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment nevertheless Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent year. Analysts, analytic 
have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanagement management, management inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart processes. Many shoppers will still not get in the experience. Excuse me. They're expected for the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can buy it, a customer says in an interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage. But due to the short stake, short stake uh, of the staff, excuse me, shortage, short stake, short short stake of a staff, it good delayed for moving uh, up to the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping and warmer because of bad service and empty shelf. Uh, and management worsens the problem by further cutting back staff to save in cost. In this case, Walmart failed because they, they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for giants like yes. uh, Excuse me, teacher. Giants. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Thank you, teacher. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. And now, uh, Juan Roberto. Okay. Out of stock problems, Walmart had them too. With over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory, Walmart's supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problems to mismanaged inventory. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision. Despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart's processes, many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it is not on the shelf, I can't buy it, a customer said, said in an interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to shortage of staff, it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves and management, management worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to save in cost. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the, F the effect that their out of stock inventory level will have on the customer spirit. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Ana Hernandez. Okay, teacher. Out of stock problems, Walmart have them too. Uh, while over 11,000 uh, store in 28, 27 country an average uh, of 32 billion in inventory. Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Never, nevertheless, Walmart out, out, out of so stock role has been making waves in their recent years, analysis have attributed a Walmart problem to mismanagement, manage inventory, mismanage inventory. 
Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience that they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can buy it. A customer say in an interview, according to insiders, uh, there were many cases where stock were available in storage, but but due to short short shortage of staff in got delayed for moving out to the shopping floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves. And management worsened uh, the problem by further coating uh, but stuff to saving cost. In the case Walmart, barely because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that they out stock out, out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even to jeans like Walmart. Giant. 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 Giant like Walmart. Giant like Walmart. Inventory management remains the core of their business. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, now let's listen to Roberto Carlos. Good, good evening. Good evening. Is only read? Yes. Okay. Out of a stock problem, Walmart of of a stock problem, Walmart held them too with over a on says twelve eleven eleven uh, eleven thousand stories in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in, in inventory. Walmart supply chain in, is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Never, nevertheless, Walmart out of a stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysis have attributed Walmart, Walmart problem to mismanaged inventory. Mismanaged. Walmart log, mismanaged inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart process. Many shoppers will, were still not getting experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can buy it. A customer, a customer say in an interview, according to Insider, there were many cases where stock was available, available in the storage, but due to, to shortage of, of stock. It go delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped their shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves. And management worsened the problem by forcing cutting bad stuff to save in costs. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their own of the stock inventory level will, will have on the customer experience. Even for Gian like over for Giants. 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 Yeah? Giants. Okay. Like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of the business. Very good. Perfect. Very. <laughs> uh, let's see, Blanca. Good night. Good evening. 
how of the stock problems Walmart had them too with over 11,000 stories in 27 countries and an average of 33 billion dollars in, in inventory. Walmart supplies chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Never tells Walmart hold of the stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysis have attributed Walmart problems to mismanaged inventory. Walmart's logistical are calculated with extreme precision. This, despite the meticulous details that goes into optimizing Optimize. Walmart's processes. Excuse me. Optimizing. Optimizing Walmart processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the chef shelf, I can buy it. A customer sell in an interview, according to insiders. There were many cases where a stock was available in storage, but due to shortage of staff, it was the larger for moving how the the shop flew. Customers gra gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and and empty shelves and management wor worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to save in cost. Uh, in this case, Walmart failed fail because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that they owed of a stock Inventory level will have in the customer experience, even for giants like giants. Walmart. Giants, giants, the Walmart. Inventory management remains the core of their business. Very good. Nice. Monica Avalos, is it possible for you? Okay, Aida Lopez. Boy, teacher, boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Out of stock problems, Walmart have them too. With over, I don't remember how to say. Uh, 11,000. 11, thousand. Stories in the 27 countries and a barrage of uh, 32 million on inventory. Walmart supplies chain in an in impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart, out of stock problem, has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have Analyst. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanagement, mismanagement inventory. Mismanage. Oops. Walmart's, lo Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous details that goes into optimizing Walmart's processes. Many uh, Shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. It is not of the sale, I can buy it, 
a customer say in an interview, according to insiders, there, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to the shortage of staff, it got delayed for moving off the, sho the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves. And management worries it. War worries need. Worries need. The problem by further. Father, hay que parecer trago al lengua este volado. Ok. Curing bad stuff to saving cost. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast uh, the effect that their office, they office shop <laughs> try to do an arise, but I can't. I'll uh, stop. In, okay. I love stuff. Inventory level would have one, okay, have on the customer experience. Even for giant likes Walmart, inventory management remains the core in their business. Oh, it's, nice. it's a little hard. <laughs> okay, but you did it very well. Nice, very nice. Uh, let's see, Oseas. Not possible. Sandra Gomez. Yes, teacher. Okay. Out of the problem. Walmart at 10 to, with over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and a range of 32. Uh, hello. I can't hear you. Analyze how okay. attribute Walmart's problem to mismanaged inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated with a strength precision. Despite the meticulous detail that goes in the optimized Walmart process, many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected for the retail store. It is not. Hello. Hello. Out to the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves. And management worsened the problem by footer, footer coating back stuff to save in cost. In the case, Walmart fired because they did not anticipate and forest cut the effect that they out of stock inventory level go. Hello. Okay, I don't know if you finished already. It seems that there are some problems with the connection. Sometimes internet is working bad. 
Anyways, it was very, very good. And let's check about some uh, pronunciation things. Okay, let's review some things there. Uh, let's see. Average. Uh, let's see. Impressive. Accomplishment. Nevertheless. Waves. Analysts. Attributed. Mismanaged. Despite. Meticulous. Optimizing. Shelf. Interview. Available. Shortish. Delay. Shelves. Worse net. Further. Failed. And that's it. very good. Now we're going to check vocabulary. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Uh, do you remember what is out of stock? Fuera de inventario. Very good. Cuando ya no tenemos algo en inventario. Nice. Um, when we say over, es como decir con más de 11,000. So over. 11,000, okay. Uh, uh -huh. uh, in, in the case of the, okay, meal in Spanish, uh, is going to be a thousand, right? Thousand, yeah. Thousand. In the case of the hundred, uh, cien, it's hundred, right? That is correct. Okay. <laughs> Good. Thank you. All right, let's see what else. Um, accomplishment. What is accomplishment? Do you know? Okay. Uh, logros. That's un logro, algo que se ha cumplido. Nevertheless, do you remember nevertheless? Sin embargo. Very good. Waves. What is waves? Making. Olas. 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 Very good. Waves. <laughs> this one. Uh, the pronunciation is very interesting because you say S T S at the end. Analysts. Analyst. So there is analysts. Analyst. Yes. Uh, yes. Attributed. What is attributed? Atribuyo. Atribuyo. Very good. What about? Hmm? In the case of the analyst, what is me? Uh, is not the same with analyzed. Analyze is a noun. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Analyze is a verb. And analyst is a noun. That is the difference. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mismanaged. What is that? Mal manejado. Mal manejado. Very good. Uh, despite. A pesar de. Very good. Meticulous. 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 So very good. Let's see. Uh, what is optimizing? Optimizando los procesos de Walmart. Very good. Let's see. Bárbaro. Estante. Estante. Very good. Estante. 
Eh, 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 usted le dio la presentación adelante, ¿verdad? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, the thing is that sometimes... Don't say, don't say, don't say anything, teacher. Of course. <laughs> All right. Okay, what is insiders? Okay. Iniciados. Mm, something like that. Uh, insider is like people from the inside. Gente que trabaja dentro de. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh, see what is due to. Debido a. Very good. And what is shortage? Escasez. Escasez. En este caso sería como corte. Ha habido corte de personal. Shortage. Okay. Uh, delayed. What is delayed? Y fue retras Se retrasó. Very good. Retras demorado. Uh, gradually. Gradualmente. Very good. Gradualmente. What is empty? Vacío. Vacío. Very good. And what is shells? Tantería, algo así. Exactly. Actually, shells is the plural of shelf. Ah. Okay. That is it. Okay. Uh, worse net. What is that? Worse. Peoró. Very good, Emperor. Very good. Farther. What is farther? Más lejos. Very good. <clears throat> and what is cutting back? Cutting back. Okay, cutting back is like reduce, reducir, reducción de staff. Okay. Acortó, digamos. Recortado. Recorte. Uh -huh. What is fail? Walmart falló. Falló. Very good. Do you remember what is forecast? Bueno, yo creo, no sé. Like to precision. Uh, well, that is uh, pronóstico, pronosticar. Okay. Pronóstico. Let's see. What is giants? Gigante. Gigantes. Gigantes. Very good. <clears throat> San Francisco. Yeah, that is true. Nice. The giants of San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> what is remains? Remanente, no. Remanente, permanece. Un remanente. And what is core? Nucleo. The core. Nucleo, very good. Perfect. Do you have any other question here? Very good exercise, teacher. Nice. Okay, and now we're going to check uh, the uh, exercise below. I will give hey, you a few minutes question. for you. To, yeah, this is according to the reading. So I will give you a few minutes for you to finish uh, the answers and then we're going to check together. For the compre comprehension. Reading comprehension, know. yeah. Good. So let's check it out. There is a billion. B.
Okay, so let's check. Number one says, what is Walmart's average inventory? Let it be. Good, let it be. 32 billion dollars. That is a lot. It might that amount of money. So, and that is the inventor. I mean, that's crazy. All right. Number two says Walmart's problem is attributed to. I think it's let us say this managed inventor. This managed right. inventor. Yeah. Miss yeah. Managed. Yes, inventor. very good. <laughs> Good, good. So, number three says, what caused delays to move stock out to the shop floor? I think it's a letter B, a uh, shortage in staff. I agree, I agree with Veronica. Nice, a shortage in staff. What about number four? How did the stock problem become worse? Customers stop shopping. Mm, yeah, that is part of the problem. So, but I believe that what become worse is that Walmart cut off staff to saving costs. So that is letter B. Okay, letter B. Good. Uh, let's see. What about number five? Why did Walmart fail at inventory management? Is is possible the level eight teacher? They didn't forecast an issue with inventory. Very good. Yeah, that would be it. They didn't forecast an issue with inventory. And letter B also is part of the problem because the processes were not good, right? But they it was also because of the staff. They didn't have enough staff, so that was not good. All right. So as you can see here in this reading, even. Even the big companies, they have problems, right? So we see the company and we believe that everything is perfect, but that is not true, right? All the companies, they have challenges. All the companies, they have problems. And even when they have very good processes, very good systems, the decisions that the management do sometimes are not correct. So in my situation, so uh, the problem was caused because they didn't have enough stuff to move the inventory. And the decision that made is to reduce more, to cut off uh, the people, the staff. Oh. So that is definitely not a good decision. Anyways, uh, yeah, maybe people, they didn't go and buy things there, but still a monster, right? Still one of the biggest companies in the world, in my 11,000 stores. And it's more than, more than 11,000 stores. So that is, I don't know, only in El Salvador, we have a lot of stores, right? Teacher, so, in, in 20, in 20, in 27 countries. Almost all the world, right? Because I believe there are like 35 countries in the world. So 37 is. This company is a giant. It's a giant, definitely. Giant, giant. Yeah, it's, it's something, I mean, amazing. But even, I mean, the problem is that sometimes they have very good processes and procedures, but the bigger the company, the more difficult that is to, to manage everything. So definitely it's, a, it's something that but, we can analyze. Huh? But in El Salvador, you uh, have a bad service. And you go and the shelves, uh, Sometimes is uh, is empty, and sometimes is expired the, the the product, and the service or the attention of the of the staff uh, is very inefficient. Uh, in some some distinct, if you go you go to San Salvador any. Any tienda, como se dice, ya no me acuerdo. Any store. The store, sorry. Any store that you go, the people is indifferent. Not the, the attention is you can ask, uh, ask a question and sometimes don't know nothing about. 
I I held the I had the experience here in Guadalupe with uh, uh with a person of the staff, and I ask about a product and tell me uh, for their place. Search, I don't think nothing uh, is. I think uh, corn in in, in bottle, uh, but she told me that I go where is the paper, uh, the, the papel higiénico, no sé. The toilet uh, paper. Toilet, toilet paper, and <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing to see, but this is the, the situation. Uh, the, the difference uh, with the super selectors is the condition is better. Sorry that this is the only is coming for here. Okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Yeah, it is for for that noise. Uh, the selectors is the condition is better. Uh, air conditioner uh, probably more order uh, the person uh, the attention is uh, for me is is better that the, the Walmart or the Spencer Familiar Walmart uh, the Spencer Juan for me is a bad service okay it's very interesting I mean uh, I don't know I believe that depends also on the management of every store uh, for example, here in, in Santa Ana, uh, Walmart is, is very good, it's very nice, the conditions is very nice, and people are nice. Here in Santa Ana, maybe Super Select is not very good. Um, so I believe that depends on the management of every store, right? Maybe there are processes for all Walmart stores, but of course there is a, a management in every, every, every store, it's right? So Are different. Yeah. And uh, I was going to ask you, is there any suggestion uh, box for you to put a suggestion there? Or you don't, didn't find anything there? This is a good recommendation, teacher. Yeah, maybe that is good. Right? Or, or a phone number. Maybe you go online and try to find a phone number and you say, hey, this store is not working for it, right? Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. in Santa Ana, in Walmart, mm -hmm. and... Eh, quiero ver cuántos meses, uno, three months ago. ago. And, yes, and nosotros pasamos a comprar y veíamos que al salir hacía cola la gente. Yeah. Entonces nos pareció bastante extraño eso, que por qué hacían eso. Si eso yeah. Bueno, yo lo he visto en el Price Mart, nada más mm -hmm. que le chequean su ticket y todo eso. Mm -hmm. Pero después preguntamos si dicen que entra mucha gente a robar, por eso hacían eso. Yeah, I mean, there are all kind of people here. So sometimes, I mean, these kind of companies that are American people, they believe that you are going to pay for things, right? But I mean, in El Salvador, sometimes that doesn't yeah. happen. Yeah, pero aquí no, en el Walmart de aquí no hacen eso. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. I believe that I have gone there and no problem. So. Uh -huh. Bueno, en la Plaza Merlio. Creo que sí uh, les dicen, les dan las bolsas a la gente, los de, mm -hmm. los, de los selectos, porque mucha gente agarra bastante bolsas para, para basura. Y... Ay, <ríe> my... Ajá, entonces, <ríe> sí, eso sí, eso sí parece que lo tienen ellos controlado, que no okay. tienen las bolsas como las ponían antes. Ajá. Ajá. Ya, yeah, es like... <ríe> yeah. eh, Sal, el sábado. Del... ¿Cómo se dice idiosincrasia? <ríe> uh, that is a cultural thing. Culture. Yes. Yeah, that is true. I mean, many things happen. Is it a what, teacher? Uh, cultural. It's a cultural matter. Cultural problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. definitely. And, I mean, th and that happens, uh, yeah, in, in, in the United States happens, but in, in different states uh, for different people. And that happens in many other places as well. But yes. I look, I look uh, uh, and uh, shopping shopping converse mm -hmm. eh, yo vi un, un, un moreno que agarró una unos unos calcetines y se los metió así debajo de la camisa <laughs> yeah that, that yeah. happens then in the United States so yeah y andan con gorro y así todo sospechoso pero yeah. dicen los lo security que mejor los dejan que se los roben porque si los golpean 
eh, cae una demanda y ahí es donde ah, ellos hacen dinero. It's a, it's a big problem. So, then in the United States. For the States, politics. For the politics. Yes. This is yeah. the, the Obama care. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. In, in my. But well, for me, it's very interesting the, the modus operandi. Yes, aquí en Black Friday yeah. en Prado una pechada. Le de... Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> no, this, no, this I remember. Yeah. ¿Te de esa pechada? No, this do, do you remember the pechada? I remember the video on that. Yes. Black Friday, yes. Yeah. That, that was la, crazy. Yeah. La mano, sí. <laughs> one, friend, one friend had a cyber cafe uh, in, in some occasion. Uh, three or four person inside in the local and some minutes after uh, he he go out and, and he's scared hey you don't see it to the people that uh, recent coming uh, no I don't see because I lose my 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 screen the computer no way the the monitor the monitor yeah I, uh, my is, a uh, monitor LCD, you, um, in very scary, he, he, and tell that, that what happened, I don't understand because all coming over me and told me, ask me some, some question and uh, apparently um, I don't saw, I don't see the, the, the monitor. And the situation is that one uh, lady, for say something, is take the monitor and put under the, the skirt and have a, a system or I don't know, but under the skirt, uh, take the, the, the monitoring, walking, uh, relax, and, my... and go to... to uh, inside in a car and go and never know what happened with the monitor. That is crazy. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Uh, and that happens everywhere. But I mean, it's, it's not good, right? So, but it's something that people do. I don't know. I don't, I just don't. Uh, I mean, a monitor is not that expensive, right? Anyways. <laughs> Very good, my it's friends. Similar. It's similar situation in the Walmart, in the Spencer, in the supermarket. It's similar situation. Yeah. Many times. It's true, it's true. So, not good at all. Definitely, it's not good at all. So, uh, all right, my friends, we're going to finish the class. Remember to finish all the platform this weekend. That is very, very important. Okay. Uh, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Here. Good. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher, present. Uh, before I forget, for the Monday, you are going to bring a presentation about whatever you want to present. That is the home, okay? A presentation about any topic, anything that you want to discuss, you present to the class, okay? Good. Uh, let's continue. Okay, uh, okay. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. Maria Julia Ramos Olivar. Monica Wendy Avalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Here. Good. Sandra Janira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. 
present teacher. All right, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Have a very good night. Have a fantastic weekend. Rest a lot and uh, see you on Monday. See you, see you Monday, see you. and partners. Yeah. Ooh, have okay. a nice night. So do you. Okay. Good night, everybody. Have good a night. good night. A good weekend. Many, nice many night. gallos. <laughs> oh, corona, Cor corona. Okay. Was good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Take care okay. all. Nice. Only, night, only night. say it. Night. That's <laughs> good. For la princesa. Okay. All right. <laughs>